What's going on everyone? Kyle here, KNC Breaks, back again for another video. In today's video, we actually got this uh, three-pack of Pokeballs here that uh, I picked up at Costco. So, going to be uh, three Pokeballs, three packs in each Pokeball. So, we're going to open them up, see what we can get. Hopefully, get some solid packs. I've heard rumors that there's going to be XY Evolutions within each of these Pokeballs. So, if that's the case, that'll be extremely good. So, uh, great value here. $30, like I said, for the three Pokeballs. So... Let's, let's crack it open and see what we can get. So, just going to move it off screen here right quick. Take this big wrapper off. We got the first Pokeball here, the regular one. Then we have this one here, which is an Ultra Ball. And then I'm actually uh, unsure of what this third ball is. Does it say on it? It does not say on it. I'll see if it says on the box. Does not say the type of Pokeball, but uh, I'm sure if there is anyone watching down in the comments that uh, you'll put it down there. So we're going to open up all three of these balls, see what uh, see what we can get. And uh, like I said, hopefully get some XY Evolutions, possibly hit one of those Charizards that we got in the background there. Maybe even that secret rear surfing Pikachu, that'd be another nice pull. So let's uh, let's just get right into it here. These are sealed up pretty good, so sealed in the pack and also sealed Pokeballs themselves. So you, you won't see anyone looking in through the balls at Costco. So that's the first one there. So try not to scratch the Pokeball itself because it will look nice on a, on a display stand for sure. So that's the Ultra Ball. And now this one right here, this is the... To me, it's the mystery ball. I'm sure other people that uh, played a lot more Pokemon than me. I did play all the games growing up. Started off with uh, Pokemon Yellow, the Pikachu. Moved my way up to play. Uh, the latest one that I played was Sword and Shield on my Nintendo Switch. And also Let's Go Eevee. So that's three of the Pokeballs here. Let's break into them, see what kind of packs we get. So out of the first pack here, we have... It do look like it is the ones that I have seen videos for. One different one there actually. So we got a nice coin. Going to get a coin out of every one pack. That there looks like a Lugia coin. So that's very nice. So out of the first Pokeball here we have a Sun and Moon pack. XY Primal Clash. So that is a that is a nice pack there. And also XY Breakpoint. So that is a, that is a very nice Pokeball there. I must say. Three, uh, three really solid packs. So into the Ultra Ball now. Probably going to be the same packs again, is it? So we also have in this one another coin. So this is uh, another Lugia coin. Sun and Moon there. Primal Clash. And another Breakpoint. So no evolutions like we were hoping for, but still some... Very nice cards there of the XY generation. Still can get some massive pulls out of these. And then in the third one, we have Sun and Moon, Breakpoint, and then another Breakpoint in this one. So three break, so two Breakpoint in the final pack, Pokeball, and another Lugia coin. So we're just going to set these Pokeballs off in the background there behind our Pokemon. And we will break right in. Probably start off with the uh, with the sun and moon, then go to the the breaking point, and then finish it off with the the primal clash. So there we go. That's the order that we're going to go in. So three sun and moon packs here. Oh, sorry. Sun and moon here. Put the break point with the break point. So three sun and moon here. Just going to show them to Chris of KNC Breaks down here on FaceTime on the iPad. So we got some Sun and Moon. So let's get right into it. So this one here. We're going to try to save the code cards. I'm hoping to do a video now. Now eventually just showing off a, uh, a pile of code cards to you guys. So starting us off here, we got a Water Energy, a Krokoroth. Arachnid, a Snubble, a Lowen Rattatat, Sandoil, Pick a Pick, Stuffle, 
a reverse hollow mask green, and a rear lantern. So that's the first pack there. Nothing really too special out of the first one. Let's see if we can change some luck here with the, with the next eight packs. So we got a source get there. Another green code card, unfortunately. So this one, we're going to have a Fighting Energy, a Pyukumuku, Rotom Dex, Passamine, Surskit, Fermatus, Morlul, Sandy Gas, Dratini, that's a nice card there, I really like Dratini, that whole evolution, Ekarana Roar, and a Rear Hirayama. Great Pokemon to have in Pokemon Go, honestly. Really big, lots of, uh, can tank a lot of hits, so... Nothing wrong with that there. So we got a green. I'm going to do four. Flip it over. Another fighting energy. So Arachnid, Rear Candy, Wishy Washy, Toga Demoru, Alolan Grimer, Fermatus, Cosmog, Regarola, a Reverse Hollow Stoutland, and then the rear is going to be a Primarina. So nothing too special there out of the Sun and Moon packs, unfortunately. But we still have some really nice, some breakpoint packs and also Primal Clash packs to turn the luck around. So hopefully we can get something nice out of these. So we got a Psyduck starting us off here. We do have a white code card, which is very good. I'm not sure what the trick is here. I think it's three, maybe four. But, uh... We'll, we'll go with three to begin with and then see what we can get. So you get a Gabite, a Lapras, a Great Ball, which is actually what we got there in the background. Not an Ultra Ball, I think I said at the beginning of the video. A Ducklet, an Esper, a Phantom, a Reverse Hollow Trubbish, and a regular Hollow Garibor. So that's some, uh, some nice pulls. Very first Hollow that we pulled there. Show it down to Chris. So nice little grubbish there, grubador, and a trubbish. So never gonna complain about a hollow hit. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's uh, let's break into some more of these and hopefully get them some more. So this one gonna have a green back. So we got one, two, three. Three worked out for us last time, so hopefully it keeps on going. So we got a max elixir, a bay leaf, a pura gully, Cedal. Shelter, Chikorita, Froki, Clefairy, a Reverse Hollow Froki, and then a regular Rear Greninja. So, four packs left here now. We got uh, two packs left of this Breakpoint plus two Primal Clash. So let's see what we can get. Another green back, unfortunately. So the reason I keep on saying that is because if there's a green back, it usually means that there's not going to be a hollow. If it's a white back, that means that uh, nine chances out of ten you will see a hollow. So we're going to get a Gibble and a regular rear Luxray. So nothing too spectacular there. Two packs left here now. Let's see to start us off. Let's see. Oh, we do have a white pack, which means that... Uh, there will be a hollow in this pack. The back there, a little bit of scruffling down on the bottom left corner. But other than that, it does look pretty centered, so that's good. So we're starting us off. We got a Stantler, All Night Party, Torino, Blitzel, Shelter. It does look like we have a V or a V Max here now. A Psyduck, a Phantop, Slowpoke, a Reverse Hollow, Drangle. And our very first V card, or EX, sorry, is going to be a Dark Ray EX. So that's a nice pull. Nice pull right there. Just going to show Chris, see what he see what he got. We got a Dark Ray EX, so that's a very nice card. Sleeve that one up for him. Never going to complain about a nice EX pull, so there you go. So now we're on to the two last packs, so these are going to be the Primal Clash packs. So... Let's let's get into these and see see if we can pull them something nice. Don't want to bend the corners or anything. 
So right now, oh, the code card reverse on this one, so I'll give that one away. It is going to be a white one, so that's good. So we're going to go three to the front. We got teammates, Lombre, Combuskin, a Volvent. I thought that was a little pre-release or something mark there. I was going to say this is a pre-release. A Clam Pearl, a Bonabelli. We got a Tangrel, and then the Hollow is going to be a Breloom. So that's a bit different there. Don't know why uh, there was a white code card, but then no, no hollow or anything. But uh, I had to look into that after. I might have missed a card there. Not really. Uh, haven't opened up any of this this promo clash before. So if there was a nice card there, we'll uh, I'll figure it out in post. So we have a code card there. Try to. Uh, Keep it away from the viewer's eyes. Like I said, going to give them away all in one video. We got a Rhydon, Spinda, Mudkip, Feebas, Illuminize, uh, Hippotamus. We have a nice Nidoqueen Queen here. This does look like a, uh, a variant of a card. And the final one is going to be a Wicash. So. That's a nice Nidoqueen Queen there, so I'm going to sleeve that up for Chris. Might as well sleeve up this Wish, wish Cash too. But uh, that's a nice way to end it off there. At least we got a, a solid hit to end us off. So a nice full hollow uh, a Nidoqueen. Queen. So that's to end us off there. The break, the three packs from Poke from uh, Costco, going to end us off with a Nidoqueen. Queen. So let's uh, just give Chris a little look there. So not a whole lot of hits in this in this pack opening, but uh, still nothing to complain about. Like I said, thirty dollars for nine packs of Pokemon cards right now. You can't beat that. Everyone online selling the Elite Trainer boxes that you can buy for fifty five dollars at Walmart selling them online for around one hundred and twenty dollars. So I mean, unless you get really lucky, you're not going to get it. So I was fortunate enough to see these at Costco. Decided to pick them up and uh, gotta say this is some really great value for what you're getting and. Costco seems to, uh, what I've been told is Costco always has these in stock, so I'll always keep an eye out. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching today. It's been a really good uh, Pokemon Ball opening. And uh, like I always say, keep grinding, stay safe, have fun. Cheers.